And welcome back to the Foreplay channel. I'm Bella. I'm Jace. Today's video is all about tips for planning a swinging lifestyle vacation. Before we get into today's video, if our videos help you out at all and you want to help support the channel, if you book your next vacation using our links, it helps us out a ton, doesn't cost you any extra, and it helps us be able to continue to make content like this. So we are going to talk about destinations first. I'm not going to go into super specifics about the exact cruises, the exact resorts. We have full videos of those, and so we'll have those linked down below if you want to see stuff about Bliss or or temptation or desire. We have full in-depth reviews which are linked down below, but we're going to talk about some of the pros and cons real quick of each. We're going to start with cruises. So one of the biggest pros of cruises is the, the massive size of them. The small cruises generally are around 2,000 people where some of the bigger ones have close to 7,000 people. That can be a good and a bad thing. One great thing about that is it gives you an option to make so many amazing connections, meet so many people, but sometimes it can be kind of hard to find people. Some people feel it's a little bit harder to make deeper connections just because you're meeting so many people and the ship's so big you don't run into the same people over and over again. But it is nice because you get to meet so many different people. The resorts are almost the opposite, where they're much smaller, but lots of people feel like you can make a deeper connection at the resorts just because of the fact you're kind of in the same area every day with the same people, you talk to the same people over and over again, which can be a real pro if you want to make those deeper connections. One thing that we don't love about the resorts, since people come in certain days and leave certain days, maybe you get there on a Monday and you meet some amazing people and you're staying till Friday, but the amazing people you meet are leaving on Tuesday. So that can kind of be a negative where the cruises, everyone gets on the same day, gets off the same day. So you know if you meet some of the first day, you're still gonna have those five days or seven days to spend with those people. Next is packing essentials. If you want a list of everything we take, we'll link the video we filmed that's extremely in depth below. The one really important thing to note before we go into all the details of the packing essentials is you need to wear whatever makes you feel most comfortable. So if we recommend something and you're like, hey, I don't like that, it's totally okay. So if wearing something a little bit more revealing is what makes you feel good, then amazing. If something a little bit more covered up, maybe a button up shirt or whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Whatever makes you feel comfortable and feel confident, that's what's the most important thing to remember. So take all of this advice just lightly and just use this as a place of reference for what people bring, but make sure to do whatever makes you feel the most comfortable, makes you feel the most happy. Most daytime parties at swinger resorts and cruises revolve around the pool. So having your favorite bikini or buying a new one you feel sexy in makes the parties that much more fun. Don't forget to also bring some swim cover-ups too because you'll need to be at least somewhat covered up to walk around the ship or resort and when getting food. Lingerie is another packing essential and while it may just be for you and your partner, some women also choose to switch into lingerie for the nighttime themed outfits or for something spicy to wear to the club. And then it also comes in handy if you're going to any after parties, if you know what I mean. Cocktail dresses are great for all of the dinners you'll be attending, plus they're a great option for club wear for the nighttime parties if you don't feel like dressing up for the theme night. I know we're always talking about what sexy outfits to bring but make sure you don't forget to pack some casual wear because it's always great to have something casual to wear for all the downtime that you have in between the parties and dinners like walking on the ship or resort getting food drinks snacks or when you go off to do your excursions and plus you'll need some vanilla photos to share with your family so casual wear is a definite must for that this doesn't count as vanilla casual wear but I always recommend to wear some funny graphic tees or crop tops or pasties these have been amazing for breaking the ice and so many people will compliment you or say that they like your clothes or your shirt which can lead into really easy conversation or new potential friendships. And we have a bunch on our shop at foreplay.com shop that you can look at and get an idea of what I'm talking about. Usually the dirtier the better. <laughs> when it comes to shoes, some sort of sandal is a must for the pool and the beach. I personally love my mega crush Crocs, but really any flip flop or a sandal is going to work. Just something that's comfortable. You'll see a bunch of people in heels and trendy shoes to go with their outfits during the parties and dinner. But personally, I wear my uncomfortable but sexy shoes to dinner or to walk around for a little bit and then I'll change into something more comfortable to dance in. I'm usually wearing Air Force Ones or some type of sneaker and speaking of theme outfits they might be the most essential of all lifestyle vacations and remember no one's required to dress on theme but to us it's always one of the most exciting parts. We love spending time shopping and making and getting our outfits together before the trips which makes it even that much more fun and exciting for us. To find out what themes are going on you can go to the specific website of the cruise or or resort that you're attending. So the first thing I'm going to recommend for men when it comes to packing essentials is definitely a nice swimsuit. I feel like most of the time people wear normal swimsuits. You will see the guy in the occasional speedo banana hammock type thing, but for the most part, most men just wear normal swim shorts. I would also say some sort of water type shoes, whether it's a sandal, a flip flop, 
a crock, whatever it is, just something that you can go to the pool pretty easily. And then I would make sure to bring some nicer clothes, so maybe a nice pair of dress pants, a shirt that's buttoned up, maybe a polo, something like that, just so that you can go to a nice dinner because all the resorts, the cruises, they have nice dinners. So just so you have something nice to wear, make sure to bring something a little bit fancier. Also, like Bella said, whatever the theme night is, I would bring something for that. Um, there's so many different options you can do, so whatever makes you feel the most comfortable and whatever is on theme. Some other things that aren't clothing wise that we really recommend is a tote bag. A tote bag is perfect for the pool. You can put different little things in there. It's great to, you know, hold your sunscreen. We always love to have a speaker with us. So that way, if, you know, we're kind of by ourselves a little bit out, we can listen to some music. And having that tote bag is perfect because you can set it down on your chair with your towel. That way it kind of reserves your spot if you need to get up and walk around or something like that. The bag's also perfect to hold things like sunglasses, which you're always gonna need, a hat if you're like me and get sunburnt really easy, you wanna protect your head. So it's just perfect just to hold all the little daily essentials you would take to the pool. Now when we're going to non-clothing type things to bring, one thing I'd recommend is, you know, toys, not gonna say too much about there. Protection, also self-explanatory, not gonna get into the details, but you can kind of guess for yourself. So toiletry wise, bring, you know, whatever you normally need, but a couple things that kind of go in with that that we think are really important is something like, if you are on a cruise, Dramamine can be really, really great. It's just a motion sickness medicine that you can use to help if you are feeling a little bit motion sick. Also, there's something called a relief band that helps me a lot. It kind of sends electro currents. You, it looks like a Fitbit and then it'll send that up and it'll also help with nausea. I don't often get seasick on cruises, but whenever I do, that also really comes in handy, even if I'm also taking Dramamine. Liquid IV is another great thing to have. Lots of time with these cruises, whether you're drinking or not, you're still moving around so much, you get dehydrated and liquid IV is just something you can put into your water and it's just electrolytes are going to help you stay hydrated. So something like that is also kind of a toiletry in a way that we think is really beneficial. And the last kind of section of little things to bring is the things that we would say for decorating your room. We do have some videos that we can link down below of doing full room tours of how we decorate. But one of the best things is a little light or lights that you can put in your room. They're almost like up lights. We'll have a video right here of it. But those lights are just fun to kind of get the atmosphere in the room kind of can be sexy and fun, nice to dance in there. And we'll have all of those linked down below on Amazon, just so you can see the ones that we have. That really makes your room have such a different atmosphere. There's several different lights that you can use that are all amazing. And I feel like our room always ends up being like, the party room yeah. because our lights are just so much fun. So that is a huge essential that we really think everyone should bring, at least if you wanna be the most fun room. And then definitely some decorations are always fun. Lots of people on like the cruises especially will put stuff on their door, whether that's your names or upside down pineapple magnets, or we print out a bunch of memes that we hang up on our door, but just something to decorate your door, put your name on, people bring little whiteboards sometimes, you write at the pool, going here, and just things like that. It makes it fun for people as they walk by your room to see what's going on and who's in there. Make sure you're bringing magnets. Those I think are the best ways to connect, at least if you're on a cruise. If you're on a cruise, all, everything is, I don't know if it's metal, but you can put magnets on it so it's a lot easier than tape. We also like sticky tack because all of these stuff is easy so you could take it off whenever you leave. We also recommend to bring some type of little, like a travel size fragrance spray. Mindset is one of the most important things about a lifestyle vacation that we can think sometimes be overlooked and not talked about enough with each other. The biggest thing to remember is that you're there to have fun with your partner. And we totally understand that it's a lifestyle vacation and play can be a fun part if that's what you're looking for. But what we advise against is going in with playing with others being the main goal. In our opinion, this sets you up for failure. If you want to plan, you don't end up finding the right couple. It could leave you feeling disappointed, which is definitely not what you're going for vacation for. What we recommend is truly just having fun with your own partner and taking every day as it comes. If play happens, great. And if it doesn't, great. This way you're guaranteed to have a great time on your vacation. When we stopped putting trying to find the right couple as a goal in the lifestyle and just made sure to focus on us having fun and connecting together, we've had the best time and it truly has made every trip that much more enjoyable. It's taken all of the pressure off and lets us just live in the moment. And not to mention, whenever we stop searching for play, we feel like we've ended up having actually the most fun experiences. Another thing that we really recommend that can make a trip so much more fun 
is making friends. Uh, it's been a huge part for us over our last several lifestyle vacations. We used to be a little bit more shy, a little bit more reserved, and we got scared to go up and talk to people. And now we'll go up and we'll say hello to anybody. And for us, it's made a huge difference just being able to have so many friends. When you go to the pool, you have someone different to say hi to or to dance with at night or whatever it is. But going up and saying hello makes a huge difference. It made our lifestyle experience more fun. So being the brave couple that goes up and says hello is definitely a big recommendation from us. Another thing that we kind of talked about a little bit earlier, but is dressed up on theme. Yes, well, no one is required to dress up on theme. Nobody needs to dress up on theme. For us, it's one of the most fun parts. We love to choose our outfits together, and it's not just even wearing the outfits that night, which makes you feel fun, and it is a little conversation starter, but for us, it makes the vacation feel like it's starting earlier. We get to choose our outfits together, try them on in front of each other, and it feels like we're almost pre-vacationing in a way and it just makes it even more fun and we look forward to the trip that much more because we know we have fun outfits so that's something we really recommend if maybe you're not the biggest theme person maybe try it out because maybe you'll have more fun just together than you ever thought you would we just recommend to put yourself out there the vacations go so fast and before you know it it's the last day so say hi to the cute couple take the fun class together and stay up late and eat fun food and join in on the games with the playmakers or the people who are on the ship and just have the time of your life and that's it uh, these are just a few important tips we think you can incorporate into your planning to make your lifestyle vacation the best possible. We've learned these along the way and it's definitely helped us. So hopefully it helps you. So this video helped you all and you're considering booking a lifestyle trip. If you consider using our link right down here, it helps us out so much, helps us be able to continue to make content like this and support us so it doesn't cost you any extra. And yes, it just helps us a ton, but hopefully this video just helped you get some information, had some talking points and lets you know, you know, if lifestyle vacations are right for you or some tips that are gonna make your trip that much better because you know what to pack now, you know all the essentials. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to so never miss a posted video. And if you guys have any other things that you have questions about, maybe something we didn't talk about that you think is an essential to bring, make sure to drop in the comments down below, we'll get a little conversation started, and we really appreciate it. But we'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.